Paul Smith. He's a historian. He's also an associate professor of French and Francophone studies at the University of Nottingham. Good to have you uh, on this historic afternoon, sir. Very pleased you could join us. Uh, thanks for having me, Nadia. Tell us, first of all, what your first thoughts were today when you heard that confirmation it was to be Atal for French Prime Minister. Well, his name has been doing the rounds quite a lot over the last few days. There were a couple of other names that were being bandied about, but it's very interesting that Atal has, has got the nomination, got the appointment, because he comes from the left of Macronisme, as it were, he started out, he's, you know, it's not very long ago, but his rise has been pretty meteoric, but he comes from the left. So in some ways, he he's a bit like Elizabeth Bond, but certainly uh, it's not a it's not a complete surprise. A couple of the other names that were suggested, Julien de Normandie and a couple of others were were pretty much non-starters because they were too close to the right. OK, so he's on the left of Macron's party. And as I've already mentioned, as James was talking about as well, he is or he will be the youngest prime minister in modern French history. It's also interesting, I think, that Macron was the youngest president when he took office as well. He was 39 at the time. And as you say, they're very close allies. Is it fair, though, to say that Gabriel Attal is sort of a junior Emmanuel Macron. I wonder how far you think the parallels between the two politicians run. Well, I think left-wing critics certainly want to to kind of point to this, that this is simply a kind of, uh, uh, he's a sort of an avatar, as it were, of, of Macron, but in the Matignon. And uh, there is some quest there are some question marks there about how he will you know, make his imprint on the office of being prime minister. He's not a heavyweight in any in any way. He doesn't have the experience of a Bon or a Philippe or a Castex, uh, for example. So I think that there are there there are certainly uh, discussions to be had there about his uh, about his the weight, uh, as it were. So I think that there yes there there is a there is a reason for that. There's these uh, being you know the idea of young and dynamic and uh, James was talking earlier and yourself as well about this idea of a reset and the the wishes to the nation the speech that he made on the 31st of uh, of December uh, Macron and this idea of rearming France determination this is a year of determination of it, it's a very packed year I mean when you look at the diary going going forward both politically and and in other ways. You know, perhaps it's the, it's the need for a young and energetic uh, prime minister, but it might also say something about uh, the state of Macron. I was thinking the other day about how how you know this idea of endlessly talking about restarting the dialogue with the French people and and just how he thinks that's going to go. So there's there's a little bit of that going on here as well. And look, for the moment, Gabriel Attal is popular in France, isn't he? Indeed, according to some polling, he's the most popular politician in the country. But I wonder how long you think that might last, given that he's going to have a difficult job on his hands getting Macron's legislation through a divided parliament. Yes, absolutely. I think that you know it could be it could be a matter of weeks. It really depends on on, on him. I mean, that there's a lot of criticism in advance of this young politician, but you know, we have to give him a give him a chance to uh, uh, to to actually perform as prime minister, not just perform, but 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 to deliver. I suppose the two most divisive pieces of legislation, both the uh, the pensions reform and the uh, the immigration reform, have gone through, and Bon handled that, and she's got the budget through, although using forty nine. Three, so in some ways this is the the way has been cleared for a new prime minister, and we've seen today that it's that it's Atal. What he needs to show is that there's more to him. He's a very polished uh, communicator. That was why he was the spokesman for the government from uh, 2020 to 2022. He does also, though. I mean, I was looking back through his through comments on him. He has as he did as a junior minister of education actually sort of perform as one of the, as I think it was Liberation, Liberation described him as being a junior minister who actually does some work. So he does have a, he does have a bit of a, of a track record of getting things done. Or 